Hey guys, I know I'm a bit late to the party on this one. So July the 23rd, 2001, the very first Max Payne game was released by Remedy Studios. And of course, if you're familiar with that game, the actual character himself is based on the creator, Sam Lake. Now, Remedy Studios are one of my favorite video game studios anyway. They made some great stuff from the Max Payne 1 to obviously Quantum Break, which was underrated, got a bit... Uh, spat upon by some people outside but I thought for the most part apart from the uh, interaction with the TV show which I knew what they were trying to do but it didn't really work for me I liked all the uh, the slow the slow time the bullet time mechanics that they took from Max Payne and put it into that game I thought that was really terrific but yeah I have played the first Max Payne game uh, and oh I'll talk about that afterwards but uh, the second one I've kind of dipped in and out of and of course as you can see behind me, I have got Max Payne 3 wallpaper because that game is crazy. And also, I will talk about that too. So if we're just going over, guys, to this very short message from Sam Lake and James McCaffrey, the actor who's voiced Max Payne, let's just see what they have to say because I haven't actually seen this message or this video yet. And I thought, you know what? Just record it for the channel because I love stuff like this. So here we go. Hey all you Max Payne fans out there, it's James McCaffrey. I just wanted to take a moment to say happy 20th birthday to Max Payne. Congrats oh, to love the that music. original team involved in creating it at Remedy. Not many of us hear any more of that team. Oh, that's at sad. At Realms, at Rockstar, the actors, everyone. If it weren't for all you fans by the tens of millions, it would never become the iconic media sensation that it did. He still looks it continues good. To be. Even 20 years later, almost every day, I get messages from <laughs> you over social media on how important Max Payne is to you, how much you love it. Thank you. I don't think I can thank you, Sam. thank you enough. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. For the occasion, I went rummaging in the basement of Remedy HQ and I found this box and in it a familiar looking leather jacket. <laughs> I wonder if I should try it. Yes, on. try it on, try it on. Yeah, I should. You should. And on that note. Oh, First look at that man. Like regrets. He looks like a boss. Keep coming. Each one a new scar that slows you down and drags you closer to your grave. <laughs> Happy birthday, Max Payne. And it fades to black. My God, that's just one of the most iconic video game characters ever. I do love Max Payne. Oh, that was so sweet, actually. I'm, you know, I'm one of these guys. I've been very guilty of sending Sam Lake the odd message saying, please, can you bring back Max Payne 4? Do anything. I mean, at the moment, that is up in limbo because it's still with Rockstar Games. And Rockstar could do the honorable thing and give it to us on Game Pass. Uh, but I think there might be some contractual rights to do with the music and everything else perhaps or they're just being stubborn and they don't want to release it on the game pass platform it's a shame because uh, given that you know the xbox uh, series x and playstation 5 they've got this technology now where you can just uh, s speed up the loading times and that max Payne 3 is notorious for very long loading times but i don't actually mind that to be honest because you know what back in 2012 i think max Payne 3 was released i i didn't mind that at all i was kind of patient enough anyway and you know when the next because then you, you're kind of planning right you know i got shot by that enemy i need to now uh, strategize my moves and hide here and take cover all that stuff so really i'm one of these guys i'm kind of patient with loading times i don't care if it takes a minute or two to load up it doesn't really bother me if i lose again i just learn again so you know all this thing about well speed you know load loading times and I now think of the past well doesn't really matter it's neither here or there for me but Max Payne 1 
There is a level of that game, I don't think I'll ever play it again because it's so notoriously difficult, but it's where Max goes into the mind, I think it's his own mind that he's going into, and all you see are like nerve endings, and I'm trying to think, of it's like nerve endings, um, all this, all the tissue that connects your blood together. I'm forgetting the medical term now, but basically you're like seeing strands of blood, uh, bits of skin stretched everywhere, and you're Max. You just have to tippy toe on each one of these nerve endings. I think that's what it is. And then if you just fail to do, it, you just fall to your death, and you got to start it again and again. It's like an infinite uh, loop. So. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those th things that I found like, wow, they put this into a game in 2001 and it was just that good. And I like, I love film noir, I love all that stuff and I think this game series just captured it really well. I will say about number three, it just took a very darker tone than its previous entries, it really did. Um, I'm not sure if I sit with that or not. It was a lot more violent, that's for sure. They really went to town. I like the fact that uh, <laughs> Max Payne, you know, he starts off the first half of the game with a full head of hair. Then he kind of goes all Walter White from Breaking Bad and he's got the Hawaiian shirt and probably mixed in with a bit of Tony Montana as well. So I thought that was pretty funny. I still like Max Payne through. I love it a lot, actually. It's um, It's got a pretty, pretty decent story, but it's so gritty and well acted. And it's one of these game frames franchises you know everybody's talking about bringing back splinter cell bring back max Payne. let's have, let's have another single player experience for rockstar if they're going to do it again just give it to us bring james mccaffrey back in and yeah it was so sad to hear that message from sam lake that you know the crew that were behind the original max Payne are no longer there and i'm like oh god so yeah uh, um remedy studios they're based in finland and um you know i've got you know if, if anybody is from that country is watching this video i just want to say thank you for max Payne. it was just absolutely like it still it still holds some fond gaming memories uh, for me now i just want to say guys thank you very much for watching this video once again happy birthday to max Payne, one of the most badass and iconic video game characters that's ever graced that landscape and here's to another 20 maybe 50 more years of mp and on that note guys i just want to leave a special message from me to you courtesy of james mccaffrey you just don't listen do you asshole <laughs>